We're a third year group studying pharmacology in University College Dublin. Together we've produced a few video tutorials on the toxic responses of the reproductive system. We're just going to start by giving an overview of the reproductive system. You can visit our website at www.reprotox.simplesite.com There's a few different resources on the website to help you understand reproductive toxicology. All this information is available on an app that you can download as well. The links to these can be found in the description bar below. In this video, I'm going to talk about the human reproductive system. It's primarily involved in perpetuating of the species, and exposure to reproductive related endocrine disrupting chemicals has been linked to infertility and, in some cases, demasculinization and feminization. The testes is responsible for producing the male gamete sperm. Sperm contain XY sex chromosomes. The female produces the ovum, which contains XX sex chromosomes. In fertilization, the two gametes, one male and one female, fuse together to form a zygote, which implants in the uterine wall and develops to become a fetus. This is just a short overview of the male reproductive system. The testes are responsible for producing sperm, the gamete, in a process known as gametogenesis, and they are also responsible for producing some of the male hormones, including testosterone. The urinary bladder isn't part of the reproductive system, it's part of the urinary system. While the seminal vesicles are responsible for producing semen. There are also a variety of glands in this system which the semen passes through. They include the prostate gland and Cowper's gland, also known as the bulbo-urethral gland. This produces pre-ejaculate to lubricate the urethra. Sperm is produced in the testes and stored in the epididymis where it travels along the vast deferens on during ejaculation. The testes has two primary functions. These are gametogenesis, which is the production of a gamete, in this case sperm, and steroidogenesis, which is the production of steroids. The Sertoli cells of the testes are responsible for gametogenesis. Follicle-stimulating hormone from the pituitary gland causes the production of sperm from the once spermatozoa. The Leydig cells of the testes are responsible for the production of the steroid hormone testosterone. Luteinizing hormone from the pituitary gland is responsible for activating the Leydig cells. Testosterone has many functions including development of the secondary sexual characteristics. Sperm undergoes many different transformations in the Sertoli cells. It begins as spermatozoa. Under gametogenesis, it eventually becomes a mature sperm. Mature sperm cells have four main characteristics. The acrosome is a cap-like structure which contains digestive enzymes responsible for the breakdown of the outer membrane of the ovum, known as the zona pellucida. 
There is a head containing the nucleus, a body containing mitochondria for energy, and the tail which propels the sperm. During ejaculation, sperm travel from the epididymis, where it is stored, through the vas deferens, through different glands, until it reaches the urethra, where it is ejaculated from the penis. Sperm enters the urethra just below the urinary bladder at the ejaculatory duct. The female reproductive system is also responsible for gametogenesis and steroidogenesis. We're just going to give you a quick overview of the female reproductive system. This is the ovary. It's analogous to the testis in the male reproductive system. The ovaries are located in the lateral wall of the pelvis, known as the ovarian fossa. The ovaries contain follicles which under hormone regulation develop the female gamete. This is a process known as folliculogenesis. The female reproductive system is composed of the vagina, the cervix, the endometrium, a layer in the uterine wall where a fertilized egg can be implanted, the myometrium, the uterus, the fallopian tubes, The fimbriae, the area in which the egg enters the fallopian tubes from the ovary and the ovary. One end of the ovary is attached to the uterine wall via the ovarian ligament. The ovaries are analogous with the testes in that they are responsible for gametogenesis and steroidogenesis. This means that they function both as endocrine glands and gonads. The female gamete is known as the ova. It is released from the follicle in the ovary. When a sperm fuses with the ova, it forms a zygote in the fallopian tube. If this does not occur, the ova implants in the endometrial wall and induces menstruation. There are two primary steroid hormones produced by the female. The first is the estrogens, for example, estradiol. The second is progesterone. The ovaries secrete estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen is a secondary sex characteristic developing hormone. It's also responsible for the maturation and the maintenance of the reproductive organs in adults. Progesterone is secreted from the corpus luteum 
a steroidogenic mass left after the secretion of the ovum from the ovary into the fallopian tube. Progesterone is responsible for maintaining the uterine wall during pregnancy. It's also involved in stimulating lactation in the mammary glands. Once the male is ejaculated, sperm travels through the uterus and into the fallopian tubes where it meets the ovum. Fertilization is the fusion of the male gamete, the sperm, with the female gamete, the ovum. This forms a zygote which undergoes continuous division, which eventually forms an embryo, which then forms a fetus. The zygote first becomes a morula, which is a cluster of cells. This cluster of cells eventually develops into a blastocyst. The blastocyst is a cell mass composed of an outer trophoblast and an inner cell mass. The blastocyst then is embedded in the uterine wall. The uterine wall is composed of a thick endometrial layer which is maintained by progesterone. The blastocyst can then form an embryo which undergoes further embryonic development to become a fetus which eventually develops into a full grown mature baby. This full process occurs roughly over a nine-month period.